Alright guys, this is Wanna Make a and I'm back with Irma Comic Review Part 11. So, the type so far is that they left the house, uh, went invisible, found the rat lair, and they were just discovered. Everyone gets overrun and uh, you piss her off. Cindy, please, you really shouldn't. Hang on, I got her. Uh, yeah, you really shouldn't uh, mess with Irma, okay? You, you don't mess with Irma unless you want to. You, you, you don't mess with Irma. How many times do people have to realize that you don't mess with her? Look at her, she, she's picking it up and she's evil already. Everyone realizes what she was about what she was about to do. Yeah. The look kills me too. She looks defeated. She looks sad. She looks depressed that she was about to what she what she was about to do went against her. Of course she put all those extraordinary gifts. Guy, if you could see what she does. Just on looks alone? What do you mean? She has long hair. She can't blend in that well. Aw, uh, Irma knows it. Irma knows what she looks like and everything. Ha ha ha. Oh, it looks like the detective. It, it looks like the detective that predicted the. Uh, uh, it looks like the detective that uh, if you guys watch my stream where I called Irma comic part one, I'll probably change it to taking out the part where I was reading Irma, and put it into its own separate thing. For then, it's not really you have to watch the full stream because the full stream includes other stuff too. But so. That guy looks like the detective that circled out all the dates and everything in Spirit Spoon when Irma was born. It was like, oh, it has begun. It has started.
Oh, it does seems like that too. I didn't see. I don't see why you need to hide. I mean, other than that, you look like a regular human to me. What other thing can you do that would be so bad? I honestly don't know. He was like, Wah! if he was anime, he's like, <laughs> Terry's mind was just blown. Hugs her. Irma hugs her. Heart of gold, guys. Irma has a heart of gold. Imagine if everyone had this heart of gold when they were dealing with people different than them. Imagine what the world would be if this was like this. Imagine what would the world would be if people were like Irma and had this big understanding heart. <laughs> He's like, dude, you can transform? That is awesome. And Connor's like, incredible. Small steps, yeah, small steps bring people together. Diversity, man, small steps. As it is today, we are, we are slowly making the world more diverse, very slowly, but it's gradually getting better. Whether or not you believe it or not, the world is gradually getting better. It's slowly getting better. Because as people say, People, history, history always will repeat itself, period. People can say it doesn't, but history repeats itself, period. It just repeats itself in a more modern way. So anything you can reference in history has been done before, but it's being repeated in a modernized way. Okay? Everything in history repeats, but it repeats in a modernized way so as to disguise itself as not as repeating. Because... That's the way we continuously repeat history and continuously have these problems is because we all repeat history. Because it disguises itself as more modern. Like emperors and kingdoms and blah, 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 anything like that. Like it's modernized now. Like anything in history is more modernized now. It's more modernized. It's more, you can't really call it the same because history doesn't happen exactly the same. That would just be weird. That would just be like you're in a time paradox if you just kept repeating the exact same. But the reason why it doesn't feel like a time paradox or does it seem like it's very, it's repeating itself is because of the way it happens. It happens more modernly, okay? It happens very modernly. Like it's, modern for you to have it excuse me it's more modernized history repeats itself more modernly i'm not going to explain how because i'll just get into big arguments and everything but let me just tell you i already probably i talked for like a minute already on this but i'm probably repeating this more than i should history repeats itself in modernized ways accept that believe it it's true and if you don't, you're just going to repeat history already. So, I hope you're happy. Bye. Not really. Okay, let's get back to it.
I don't know, since this is kind of the cool kid's table, and Terry just gets a slash hole. Oh no, is that Terry or someone else? I forget. <laughs> Erin just squeezes milk into her, and is like, dude, don't say that. She's she she has my she's a fan of War, Unicorn Warrior too. Oh my god, that's an unhealthy addiction. She should go back to mentally hospital, okay? I don't know how she got out. <laughs> when you gotta tell your child not to be scary. Uh, the daughter sends an email. Doesn't see on the screen, zooms in. The daughter pops out of the screen, kisses him. And the father was like, ah. So sweet, man. So sweet. Hmm, I think I'll possess, I think I'll hypnotize my babysitter to buy me stuff. He calls, he calls, she calls his babysitter's boyfriend and he's like, hypnotizes him and makes him go out and buy a toy for her. And the babysitter's like, explain, I wanted the toy. Shower time. Okay, I'll take you to my parents. All right, the aliens land, and I take you to my parents. And then the mom's like, I think they might be out of town. And I'm thinking, you think. You mean out of this galaxy, out of this world? A shark! Nah, that's Irma. Nah, yeet! Not really. Oh no, we found a special assistant. We found a priest this time. A priest will help us control this demon. Oh yeah, power of Jesus Christ will stop her. We need some holy water for the sprayer. We need holy water. Grab us holy water. <laughs> Alright guys, we'll end it with that. Hope you enjoyed. Bye! Right, this is the end of part 11.